Welcome to another Coin Hacker tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how you can dual mine Ethereum and Max Coin uh, on EthoS using Claymore's Dual Miner. Um, you're going to want to first of all register for an account on miningpoolhub.com or maxcoin.miningpoolhub.com. Um, remember your username because you're going to need that for the for the local configuration file on EthoS. Once you've registered at, at Mining Pool Hub, you're going to want to uh, first of all copy your worker name from EthoS and go to your workers page in uh, in Mining Pool Hub. For worker name, you have your worker name for password for the moment. We're just going to put X and add new worker. And that worker's added, so that's great. Head back over to your EthoS terminal, log in, currently this is just mining Ethereum at 133.2 mega hash. Uh, what you're going to need to do is edit your local configuration file and do that by vilocal.conf, enter. Let's change our global flags number to 16387. Uh, By the way, this is assuming that you've upgraded uh, your EthoS uh, to version 1.3.0, uh, which in turn updates your Claymore dual miner to the latest version which supports the Kakak algorithm uh, which of course MaxCoin uses. Um, so once you've done that you're going to need to edit this local configuration file, uh, enable your dual miner, dual miner enabled, dual miner coin, we put the algorithm here which is CAC for dual miner pool. Let's head back over uh, to mining pool hub, and you can see it's hub.miningpoolhub.com and port two hundred four six one. Four six one. Dual miner wallet. Now we don't. When we're using mining pool hub, we don't put our wallet address here. We actually use our username that we registered. Um, registered for mining pool hub with. So let's go back to the workers page. There's my username. So you don't add the worker name. You add the username that you registered with to confirm. Paste that here, and for dual minor pull pass, we we'll just put X. Now, because this is a CAC algorithm coin, it uses quite a lot of your uh, resources, um, so we need to add an extra line, which is Claymore equals flags dash DCRI five. Now, I've explained DCRI in other videos. But what it essentially does is it decides on how much GPU power it's going to use uh, to put towards mining the dual miner coin, in this case, max coin. Um, by default, it's at 20. If we leave it with default and don't add this line, we lose about 15 mega hash uh, on our Ethereum, which completely defeats the, the, defeats the point of doing this. Um, so I've set it for DCRI 5. Uh, this way we're only going to lose a couple of mega hash on Ethereum and uh, and hopefully this will make dual mining worth it. Uh, so to save this file, press escape, shift, colon, then X and enter. Um, you can see we're currently on 133.1 mega hash for Ethereum. Let's send that down for a reboot and we'll come back in a minute and uh, and see how we're getting on. 
Okay, we're back. Um, one thing I've just learned about mining pool hub is that it takes quite a while uh, to register your hash rate. So, I mean, I've just waited there for about 20 minutes. Uh, so if you're not seeing anything show up, don't worry. Um, as long as you followed the instructions in this video, uh, you should be good. Um, so let's log into our terminal. You can see we've lost about three mega hash on Ethereum, um, and that's with the DCRI set at five. So, you know, on the default of 20, I think we lose about 15 mega hash, which is obviously no good to anyone. Um, let's show the stats. You can see our Ethereum miner here, and you can see our dual miner here. Uh, so we're successfully dual mining Ethereum and MaxCoin uh, using Claymore's dual miner uh, on EthOS. Um, a good way to check that this is working uh, if nothing's showing up on uh, Mining Pool Hub is just show miner. Um, and you'll be able to see, I mean, on, on EthOS it starts registering shares straight away. So you can see there are seven total shares. Uh, rejected zero for, for KC, which stands for CAC, and you can see a Ethereum miner there as well. Um, Ten shares rejected zero. So I knew straight away it was working, but it just took a while to show up on uh, on mining pool hub. Um, so yep, that's it. If you follow this uh, follow this video, you should be up and running within sort of 15 to 20 minutes. Um, I'll put uh, the configuration file uh, in the description of the video uh, with some quick instructions to follow. If you can't follow this video, just use the instructions in the description. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. If you have any problems, just post a comment. Uh, I'll try my best to get back to you quickly and we can work through anything. Uh, a lot of the time it's just a simple configuration line which is slightly wrong. Um, it should be very easy to fix. I'm around a lot of the time during the day, uh, UK time, and I'll try and get back to you uh, right away. Um, if you want to see more of these videos, click the subscribe button, uh, and I'll be keep putting these videos up for you so you can keep dual mining uh, new coins on EthOS.